Mike, you can see behind me, ninth graders are learning out of a temporary facility right now. Moving forward, the challenge will be finding a permanent building before the academy adds three more grades. <laughs> From new dance classes to learning engineering, Tulsa Honor Academy is shaping their ninth grade curriculum around student needs. They liked what we were providing. Um, I think parents like options, and so that might be why we're starting to see more charters. Um, parents like to be able to choose what they believe is going to be best for their kids. This charter school is expanding to meet the demand. Students tell us they prefer having the option of a campus with smaller class sizes. The teachers are more focused on the individual progress that each student is making rather than the class average so they don't let any scholar fall behind in their classwork. Other ninth graders say they didn't think college was an option before the Honor Academy. I noticed that like with family too they were struggling in schools and I always thought that that was the same thing that was going to happen here at THA but as my journey has led on I have experienced um, just growth and I know that I'm going to be prepared for college. Administrators say another benefit is more accountability as they're authorized through Tulsa Public Schools, which verifies everything from finances to academic progress. Now the goal is finding a better facility before space runs out next year. We've been through a lot um, and we always find a solution, so I'm confident we'll find a solution uh, and I'm confident we will be able to find a permanent facility by, by the time we have juniors. My hope is we can, that we can actually get it sooner. As far as the budget cuts looming over Tulsa Public Schools, charter school staff tell me that won't directly affect them here. Live in Tulsa, Megan Allison, Two Works for You.